But one of the problems we have, and I'm going to speed this up so Rev doesn't get bored, one of the problems we have, we got these eight DVD sets on takedowns. You got, a lot of you guys got a lot of these DVDs, and quite frankly, you may know, have a DVD, which DVDs that combined have 165 takedowns. You're not going to use them all. You're not going to use them all. One, you wouldn't use them all in a cage, right? There's only about nine that are used constantly in a cage. And in the street, there's even less than that. So what you got to do is you got to learn objectively. By objectively, what I'm talking about is what is it you're trying to do? Not the techniques that get you there. What is it you're trying to do? Okay? All right. So uh, what we're going to show you is basically concepts of takedowns. What you need to know. When you were taking it, let's step back here a little bit. When you take someone down, you're essentially trying to do two things. That's it, two things. You're trying to keep them from stepping or step faster than they step. You're trying to keep them from stepping or step faster than they step. Okay, so what, do I, what am I talking about? Okay, if I'm here and I'm trying to get Rev to go this way, right? If I move slow, he's going to move this leg out. That's his balance. Now, each time I move, you move that leg out, okay? And then he goes again, and then he goes again, and then he goes again. Now, if we go to the opposite side, he's going to do the same thing. Let's move this first. Again, and again, okay? Pretty soon, what you get is what that look like, a waltz, okay? The key is for me to move faster than he can move, okay? So, if he knows I'm going to move, then he's going to step with me. I have to step, and I have to step faster than he steps. Okay? That's a basic principle. To step faster than a person can step. Or, the other principle is to keep them from stepping. So, for example, I'm going to hold you, right? For example, I step faster than he stepped. Let's move back here. I step faster than he stepped. Now the other option is to keep him from stepping. So I'm not going to step faster. What I'm going to do is keep him from stepping. Okay? So those are the two principles. You either step, you get it, right? You either step faster than the person or keep him from stepping. The same principles for a double leg. I'm not going to do it, right? But if I'm here and I go for a double leg, if he steps back with this leg, I get one, he can scroll. Okay? What I need to do, right, is keep him from stepping. So if I keep him from stepping, I might do something like this and then cross and he's over. Right? Or I might keep him from, I might move faster than he can step and I'm here and before he can step back, I dump him over. Okay? But the principle essentially is two things. No matter what takedown you're using, doesn't matter. Freestyle, Greco Roman, combatives. I'm passionate about it. that's why I seem out of breath. Right? There's two things. You don't need 18 DVDs to tell you that. Step faster than the American step or keep him from stepping. Next principle. What you want to do when you take a man down, and particularly in the street, you want to get his head in whatever direction to go past his knees. So, if I can get his head, don't move your leg. If I can get his head here, he's gonna go down. If I can get his head turned this way, if I can get his head here, he's gonna go down. Stay right where you are. If I get his head back here, he's gonna go down. If I get his head coming here, he's gonna go down. Why? Because for you to have balance, you have to have your head over groin. To the degree that I pull, if I pull him here, for him to get his balance, he has to now get his head over his groin. Now it's not. If he steps out with this foot, it is. If I get ready to pull him this way, if he steps out with this foot, it is. If I turn him here, we're moving fast because we don't have a lot of time. If I get hold your head up, if I get ready to turn this back here, back up here, if I get ready to turn him here and he steps out, right, it's above his groin. So the thing is, at this point, you're off balance. At this point, you're off balance. At this point, you're off balance, as you can see. And at this point, you're off balance. To regain my balance, if somebody's moving me forward, I have to step. I have to step, I have to step, or I have to step. So, what we do is we rip. I teach ripping. This is ripping, ripping. You don't need, if you're in here, 
You don't need a lot of techniques. From here, you rip. You rip the individual down. If I was to just take his elbow, lift it, okay, clasp, it's not pretty. It's not pretty, but I just rip him down. Rip. That's it. You all right? Yeah. If I'm here and I get behind him, right, if I get behind him and I get an arm drag, it doesn't have to be pretty. We're just right here. I, take, I come here. I'm going to do it slow. I come here. I just step back. Rip him down. That's it. If I'm in front of him and I can get his head back down this way, reach across and rip him down. That's it. Okay? Rip. Rip. Here. Across. Pull and down. Across. Look this way and down. Get behind him. Look this way and down. Get in front of him. Straight down. Now, on a straight down rip. Remember, don't pull him to you. You pull him to you, he gets that double leg. Don't pull him to you. You pull him straight down, step back, and into the ground. Okay? So, that's the basics. One, get, you have to move, move your legs faster than your man can, faster than your, the man in front of you, or the assailant, even if you're a woman, the assailant. Uh, and I hope you're, uh, as a female, I want to say this. Seriously, I hope you're not trying to go head to head with men. I, I don't think I've ever said this on a video. I hope you're not trying to go head to head with men, and I sincerely hope that if you're a man and you're teaching your wife self-defense, you're not doing that bullshit that has her standing up, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a man. Back to this thing with the takedowns, you basically got two concepts. Get out of here, man. Get back here, right? You got two concepts. Step faster than he can step, keep him from stepping. Get his head beyond his groin, either way, this way or this way, right? And just rip, rip the individual down, rip down, rip down, rip down. Turn and rip down, okay? You don't need 168 takedowns. I'm telling you right now, you're never going to remember them. And when somebody is on your ass and adrenaline is going and you feel like crapping in your pants because of the Joker, you know the Joker can fight. You've seen his work. Those 186 takedowns are not going to come back to you. Trust me. Your memory is, is going to be shot. Okay? So I want to thank Rev. That's a tidbit for you. You can reach me at UmaFightCamp at Yahoo.com. See you in the next video.